Hi again guys, it's Andy here from Awesome 3D Prints with just a quick one really to show you some of the upgrades that I've done for my printer. Printed upgrades, non-printed upgrades and show you what I'm working with really. So I'll head over to the printer now and you can take a look and uh, I'll show you what I've done. Cheers guys. Right then guys, so this is a quick run through of what I've uh, upgrades I've printed, not printed, bits and pieces. Just uh, show you what I've done to my CR10S. As you can see in the front here, I've got a Wicked GoPro mount that actually mounts to the bed. So as as you've seen in my videos with all the stuff I'm printing, it means that the camera stays level with the bed rather than seeing the bed flap about all over the place, which is much, much better. I've printed a bracket here, green, for my uh, for my stepper motor for my uh, BMG extruder because I've replaced it for a BMG extruder. I did that for a number of reasons. Uh, firstly, I had one lying around because I'd bought one for my old printer, this one over here. Uh, I'd actually got two because the first one wasn't very good, so I used that one and I managed to repair the old one, so I actually now got two. But um, And also, the, the standard stock Creality uh, extruder mechanism is plastic and it's known for breaking, it's not brilliant, so I thought I'd just save all that hassle, swap it over. It also prints TPU a lot better now than it did before, so that's good news. Um, I've also fitted uh, dampeners uh, to the stepper motors as you can just about see down there look that's the uh, dampener in between the metal and the stepper motor it means you have to uh, bring the nut out a bit so the uh, the belt the belt pulley nut is, is further out so it centers but apart from that it work, means it's much much quieter it says you having to spend money on um, on the quieter board it's cheaper it's not as good as a quieter board don't get me wrong if that's the way you want to go definitely the best also printed the cover here for the mechanism because I put the dampener on there it needed a bit more reach uh, it doesn't matter you can use the stock one but it just looked it just looked nice so I did that um, second thing was the um, filament out sensor here uh, I printed a nice little mechanism here because of the, oh god chuck it everywhere because the first one, as you know, is absolutely rubbish. It just keeps falling off. It's just like a little push fit fitting on, on sits on the side here, which is absolutely terrible. It just keeps falling off and causing problems. So I found this on Thingiverse. Somebody actually designed this one here, where the the filament sensor sits inside, and you could and it, it's much much better. Basically, you can angle it and it stays there. It, it's fixed. It fits via this little uh, grip thing here which just sits underneath the wheels and clips around the stepper motor. It just goes underneath like that and just sits down, which was great until I put the BMG extruder on. And then the BMG extruder's that much further out now that it doesn't fit anymore. One thing I have seen also with these BMG extruders, the reason I've got this bracket is you can mount them um, without using the bracket, but then you have to put them on backwards and you have to mess with the firmware and reverse it. It's, it. it just seems daft. This is the right way it's supposed to be used, um, going in that way and out the other. So you might as well just print yourself a bracket and do it the right way rather than trying to put it on backwards and then reverse it in the firmware or change your wiring around. It makes much more sense to me to do it that way. It's what I've done anyway. Um, but of course, since then, the filament sensor that was mounted here doesn't reach to the, uh, to the BMG extruder. So I took the original original piece here, messed about with it, added an extension bit to the bottom, which is this bit down here. I've just printed that now, I'm gonna try and fit it and see if it works. So we'll do that now and uh, and see how we get on. All right, I'll uh, get the camera mounted and then we'll go from there. Right, that's the camera mounted. Take this off the board. I actually printed this with support. I didn't mean to, I just forgot to disable it, but they should come off easy enough anyway. And the supports generally, I must admit, I've got the supports dialed in fairly well now, so they tend to pop off reasonably easy without too much force, without too much messing about, which is nice. Yeah. It probably helped print a little bit easier, but generally I wouldn't I wouldn't normally use supports for this one. I don't think it's needed. But it's there anyway. I'll just get these off and then I'll go about mounting it from there. Okay, so you know what I was saying about not needing supports, but it's okay, I've got them dialed in fairly well. 
Well, guess what I did? I snapped it getting the bloody support off. Uh, I'm trying to glue it right now. If not, I'll just have to print it again. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it'll uh, it'll stay where it's supposed to. Uh, anyway, I'll wait for this to dry, and then um, and then we'll carry on with the the fitting of the thing if it works. If not, I'll print another one, and we'll be back in a bit. Well, I'll give you three guesses why I had to do. Yeah, well, that's what I get for bragging about support, eh? Anyway, back on to what we're trying to do in the first place. Which is this over here. It is. Let's get that off the board first. Oh, there we go. Just peel this bit off. This black filament I'm using is particularly cheap stuff. I don't like it at all. But it's... Uh, it prints okay, it's not too bad. <clears throat> Alright. Attach this bit to here, which I've got the screws already put aside here. And the screwdriver. I'm hoping I've got this the right length. I should have done. Um, I've got a tape measure out and everything, so we should be alright, hopefully. All I've got to do is literally as you can see there, put one screw in there, one screw in there, which gives me the movement, and we should be all right. So I'm going to do that now. No point you watching me do that, and then I'll uh, show you it being fitted. I'll put the show you the filament centre being put in, and then we'll go go from there on the rest of the stuff. So back in a bit. Oh, that bit went together nice and easy. So as you can see from this one here, this is the my previous attempt at making one, and I made this bit way too long. I must have measured it wrong or something, and it was it was still too big the opposite way. So that's the filament sensor. Normally inside that black plastic, uh, black plastic bit you get by default that clips on. It's actually just a, just the same as a Z-stop switch really. All it is is a switch, um, which the filament presses when you slide it through. So it fits in here. Hopefully, he says it fits in here. And so it's just a, all it is it's just a switch that tells it that there's filament in there or not so hopefully it will fit in without too many problems I might actually just take the wiring off and I might make it a bit easier to fit so that can come off there's two little prongs in in there that this sits on if we get it right that is oh there you go that's perfect as long as, he says, the filament switch has got enough to enough room to move, it should be okay. I'm not overly convinced that's the case, but we'll find out when we plug it in and see what happens. Ah, that actually looks alright. Let's just get some filament. You may have to make the holes a bit wider on the side where the filament goes through because I've had issues with the last one that I did where it didn't fit, but it actually looks alright on this one. Let's plug it in and see if the light comes on. If it does, we know we've got it right. Hey, look at that. That actually seems to work, amazingly. Filament's a little bit tight through there, but that's probably to be expected. Right, I'm just going to screw the cap on. Again, the cap's in white because I printed it before for the um, for the, the white one that I'd done. But unfortunately, like I said, I made it too long, so it was no good. So I'm going to put this on now. And we're going to do a, a test print with a filament sensor in place. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll work as, as I would hope it would work. Um, shut it off when there's no filament in there, hopefully. But uh, one way to find out. Anyway, right, I'm going to screw this together now and then I'll, uh, I'll set it doing another test print and we'll see how that goes from there. Thank you. 
Oh man, the screwdriver is absolutely shite. <laughs> right, that's it all screwed together. Let's see if it fits as it's supposed to. That looks pretty promising. Let's uh, heat that up and swap the filament over. So yeah, also, uh, talking about the other things I've upgraded, as you've probably seen in my previous video, I've printed a new fan duct there, which I don't think's an awful lot better, maybe slightly, nothing major. To be honest, I'm really impressed with the quality print out of the box. It took practically no time to set up. It um, was like half an hour and it was up and running, and I ha had no calibration to do practically until the, the extruder calibration was slightly off. It was over extruding slightly, but that could just be the filament I was using. Um, for the most part, it's been an absolutely brilliant printer so far. You've seen some of the prints that I've done from my previous videos. I've done so much on this printer. Um, long prints, short prints, um, prints with TPU. Although I'm not showing any TPU prints on my uh, channel yet, but I will do one at some point just for the sheer hell of it. Um, but yeah, generally, um, I haven't had to upgrade an awful lot. I can see there's a few upgrades I'd like to do in the future. The bed springs on this one, these are the yellow springs, but I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I have to level the bed every two or three prints, otherwise it messes up, so something's not quite right there. Um, the glass bread's brilliant. Uh, I think there is a slight high spot in the center of the bed, um, but other than that, generally, it's been a, a cracking printer to print with. The filament sensor is the, probably, the filament sensor and the extruder are the two Achilles heels that I've come across with this printer because the filament sensor with the standard extruder uh, just falls off, it's crap. So you have to swap it over for a better printed one, which in this case I've done. But of course, then if you change a Bowden extruder, it doesn't fit, so you've had to, uh, the fact to modify it, blah, blah, blah. And noise generally, if you're printing this thing flat out 150 millimeters a second, it's incredibly noisy. Honestly, the noise this thing chucks out, I, I, I thought I'd have complaints from the neighbors it was that bad. Um, since I've fitted the um, dampers it's a lot better still a little noisy I think the right route to go down as I said would be upgrading the motherboard for a silent board and I might well do that at some point in the future and obviously I'll film it when I do but at the moment um, I'm very happy with the printer and anyway this has just been a quick talk through show you what I've done uh, what printed upgrades I've done what bought upgrades I've done and generally uh, just th that's it so yeah if you like the video you know what to do give me a thumbs up if you want to see more, subscribe and tick the bell icon to get notified when I do new videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Take care.